All right, today we're off campus. All right, so today we're off campus. I'm being a little quiet because I'm at a guy's house. He's a veteran and his engine's locked up. So we're going to just break it down basically and try to figure out what's wrong with it. I'm going to take the lower unit off. And uh, first I'll take the chaps off of the side of the engine. And uh, then I'll take the lower unit off. And then, you know, we'll start dis uh, disassembling all the electric electrics and, and fuel line. And then uh, we'll get that power head off. And I'm going to get it at the back of my truck, get it back to the shop. It's ridiculous over here. For all my bolts and whatnot, I got a ladder. Oh, this really doesn't want to turn, does it? Hmm. Well, we may have to just take it off the steering knuckle just so I can get to disconnect the gas. So this one, to get the chaps off, you know, you got to take these out, and then this will come off, and then, unfortunately, this is going to kind of not split. See, there's no word where it splits, I don't see, you know, but you do have to take, you know, you do have to take this off. Okay, so the first evidence, uh... We got a bunch of things tore apart. I've got the cables disconnected, but our first evidence is right there. You can see that there's some shards of something, aluminum. Not good. All right, well, we got this off, and uh, she's pretty much toast. So, <laughs> get the mosquitoes out of here. Got the this is our intake manifold where the carbs go and also I got the reed valves off. Uh, the reed valves, a couple of them look good, one of them is damaged. But the big problem is right down here, big hole in the intake. So I started to take this off, but I realized I need my puller for this and need to get the trigger off and so I could get this off. Probably got to take all the electrics off. And we'll just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take this with me and uh, do that at the at the shop and uh, see if we can find this guy another power head. But anyway, that's our problem. I did see up on the boat some starter fluid, so I suspect they hit it with starter fluid. Of course, that tears stuff up. So thanks for subscribing liking my videos please keep liking that does help and uh you know the comments love it well we got we got the power head back to the house i was gonna just pull the whole way take try to basically give the guy an idea what i thought it would be but unfortunately uh i didn't have a uh flywheel puller with me so had to bring the power head back to the house, which is fine because why well, will pull her. And uh, I got the carbs off, obviously, they're pretty bad too. took this head off. Obviously this may have been cracked here. It looks damaged. Uh, so uh, why is that not come off? Anyway, there's our head gasket. Definitely like right here was 
damaged even though, you know, taking it off. Um, now, the head itself, there's a little bit of pitting here. So like on this bottom cylinder. Ah, it's getting dark, so probably be hard to see. Uh, I got most of the bolts out of the out of this here, but I went ahead and got I got the uh, trigger and the stator off. And I just got to get like this bolt off, and then that that whole front intake can come off. So all the electronics kind of come off as one, which is cool. Should just come right off. Looks like it is. I mean, I'm not worried about this because it's got a big hole in it. Okay, so we had we had an end cap failure. So you can see that the bolt came loose, broke, and then it's lodged over here on this side. So that's that was our failure. Now it'll be a matter of like knocking this out, seeing what kind of internal damage we have. All right, well, it's the next morning. So we got a little better light than last night. But uh, we can see, you know, this thing lost, you know, one of the bolts that hold the piston rod off, you know, down. Uh, so there's a good one, it's kind of up in there, and you know, this is at the bottom stroke of its piston. Luckily, this is almost at the top stroke, but we don't know. I'm hoping to get this out with any damage, we'll see. But the rod's not broken, but I'm sure, you know, like it's bent. Um, I mean, you can even see the twist in it. There's two. Yeah, I like that one. Try to get this one out. See the bolt. If we look, the bolt is wedged this way. So it's not going to go down, but maybe we can get it to come back. When I lifted it up, it kind of popped this down where I could get to that other bolt on the uh, on the bottom piston. All right, so we got a crankshaft and we got that out. Hoping it'll just pop right out of there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it, you know, that one was fine. Number two, number two, yeah, that one's fine. Anyway, see, it's totally trash, so I ain't worried about it. All right, yeah, hopefully, you guys can see the carnage. Just took a piece of wood and beat it out. But yeah, there's all our carnage, so we need to uh, get all that crap out of there. But man, we look at our piston, you know, our. I mean, there's a little scarring up there, man. I can hone all that out. So I just gotta find an intake for this new piston. Or some new bearings, gaskets, or, you know, basically a whole head kit. Take off all our side jacket, redo that, because we don't know what that looks like. There's our bolt that's left. 
Yeah, it just totally was destroyed. Somewhere in there, there should be, you know, the other end of this. Or is not. But anyway, get some of this out of here without it. I mean, it would need to be like a complete bath. 